Hey guys, it's Piper, and for the past couple of days, I have been making Stardew Valley style sprites of my original characters because why not? <laughs> uh, Stardew Valley is a farm simulator game by Concerned Ape that allows you to heavily customize your game sprite. So I made a couple of files of my main characters, you know, just for like brainstorming and fun and stuff. Um, but despite numerous hair, skin, and clothing options, some of the farmers I made barely resemble my characters. So I decided to make some character portraits in his style, just to visualize it, you know, for fun. Uh, I first did Sheremy, obviously, since she's the main character, but my dumbass didn't hit record, so I made something special for her at the end. For now, let's just start with Robin because I did him next and remembered to hit record. But I cut out the fugly parts because watching someone sketch in MS Paint with a mouse at maximum zoom is like watching someone scribble in 8-bit. It's horrible. <laughs> Trust me. I tried my best to rip off Concerned Ape's art style so they'd blend in, but I ran into a few problems along the way. Uh, this is mostly from a difference in style. If you've seen my other pixel art, you know my style is kind of rough, except for the faces. Concerned Ape's portraits vary in quality as it seems like he put more time into the bachelors and bachelorettes than the rest of the villagers, but for the most part, his art is very smooth. I had to take extra time to make sure everything was blended just right. Because of this, the color palettes have a lot of colors in them, but mostly the issues with colors was that they are heavily, heavily, heavily saturated and purple tinted, which is pretty much the opposite of what I do. Everything I do is very kind of a mute, a little bit desaturated-ish. I can't talk. I experimented with overlays that may get me the result, but since I'm not used to it, but in the end, I just gave up on my usual palette making method and color picked by hand in MS Paint, save for the ones I just stole from his other sprites. I mean, I'm trying to copy him anyway, I'm looking off his art anyway, I may as well just use the eyedropper on that shit. Uh, my biggest problem of all with copying his sprites though is that they are very static and remind me personally of ID photos. This is probably the reason a lot of people don't like them, if they can't like quite put their finger on why. Especially the front facing portraits which are perfectly symmetrical and that looks kinda weird to me. I mean I don't hate his style, I really do like it. It just didn't translate well to my own art. And I also struggled to make sure my characters looked exactly right while still using his very different art style because for example, my Sheremy sprite has a little head tilt and doesn't look symmetrical, and she comes out great and she looks just like Sheremy, but it stood out too much on the other sprites, so I tried to achieve symmetry with Robin, but my first attempt came out awkward. I decided to take a break on Robin since he was hard, and I switched to Seleno Davender, who does not currently have an outfit design or colored concept art. This is the best I have. It was from my tutorial, you know, that throwaway drawing. Sorry. Um, I switched to three-quarter view, which made it a lot easier to blend into his style, Concerned Ape style, while making them look more dynamic. Uh, pushing the limit with what I can work with, you know. I still have a slight head tilt going on, though, whereas Concerned Ape sprites are perfectly level. At every angle, you can tell by looking at the eyes. I used a lot of color picking in this one. Since there are a lot of redheads in Stardew Valley, thank you Concerned Ape, it was extremely convenient to do so. Like with Prince Robin, I used Selen's normal base colors, but for the blending I took colors from Penny and Robin for outlines too. Uh, the Carpenter Robin obviously, not Prince Robin, That's they have totally different color palettes. <laughs> Sorry if that's confusing. Kind of like receiving letters from Robin addressed to Robin. It made gameplay confusing sometimes. <laughs> Speaking of Robin, my second attempt at him came out looking a lot more like Concerned Ape style, but I just didn't like the end result. I hated it. It didn't look like him because he looked very boyish and young in this one. I haven't actually picked out an age for Prince Robin yet. Uh, 
I'm thinking somewhere around the late 40s to mid 50s, probably early 50s, I don't know. You know, for now, let's just think of him as 49. I think that's the last canon age I um, selected for him, but I'm not sure. He looks a little older than he is because of all the time he spent in the sun, but whatever. In the end, I think it was better this way. No, sorry, skip that. So, with my third attempt, I just said fuck it and did it my way so it would look more like him. <laughs> I, I give up too quickly sometimes, I think, but in the end, I think it was better this way. As long as they look like they halfway belong in Concerned Ape's world, I am satisfied. By the time I got to show Sprite, I had no ducking clue what I wanted to do with her outfit or hair. I chose the three-quarter view again because it worked so well with Selen, and I based her pose on Penny Sprite. I'm okay with the outfit, but I didn't really like the way her hair turned out, like, at all. So, after I finished her hair, I just decided to scribble it all out, and I started over and gave her an entirely new hairstyle. I'd fixed the shoulder a little bit because it was a little off from the penny spray, uh, but it took me hours to decide on a good hairstyle for her. I mean, I think it- I started her spray at 3 a.m. and finished it at 10 a.m. I know, my sleeping schedule's fucked. Um, she doesn't really look like a concerned ape character, I don't think. Kind of hard, though, when I refuse to give them big anime eyes. Not because big anime eyes are a bad thing. I like them. I have an anime influence to my style, clearly, but I wanted to make them look more like my characters, you know, and it just felt wrong. <laughs> um. I saved Decca for last, not sure why. I mean, she's more important to the story than Prince Robin's show and Selen combined, and she is introduced before all of them. But unlike those three, I never made a Stardew file for her. Uh, so, you know, you only have five files in the Switch. I have one for myself, one for Selen, one for Robin, Prince Robin, um, and one for show and one for Sheremy. So I didn't have any left for Decca. I don't know what it is like in the computer, maybe you have more slots, save slots, I don't know, but uh, I recently changed her hair color from blue because I'm still designing her character, um, and I settled on white, but I never thought the yellow eyes looked good on her, so I gave in and I changed them. After all, I changed Jeremy's eyes to a dark red recently, like the same as her shirt, it looks better. So I figured I'd try Decca out with red eyes too, since they both originally had yellow eyes and I'd like them to still have same eyes, you know, sort of, color-wise anyway. But Decca has a lot of brighter red in her armor, so I just went that route rather than make them the same desaturated colors as Jeremy. Uh, so bright red instead of dark red. I got a little lazy with the blending in this one, but it turned out good enough. And finally, the original, the main character, Sheremy Alexi. I may have forgotten to record you, Sheremy, but don't worry, you are still special. I'm actually tempted to mod them into the game if I ever get it on PC. The reason being, because I can, and because nobody can stop me. <laughs> so, which one is your favorite? I think Sheremy looks the best, but Selen, he's his thingy just fits in more with the other Stardew Valley characters, I think. Uh, as far as how Robin turned out in the end, you know, attempt number three, I think I finally like it. Yeah, something seems off about the nose, but I... I can't stand looking at this anymore. <laughs> okay, I can look at it. I just don't want to work on it anymore. <laughs> so, that is all. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope if you've planned on making Stardew sprites of your own that this video helped you gain some insight onto Concerned Ape's style and maybe process. And please rate, subscribe, and have a great day. Bye!